Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install OpenCV on your Ubuntu operating system. And in the later part of this video, I'm going to show you how you can verify the OpenCV installation by creating a C++ project. Now this procedure, which I'm going to show you, uh, will work with Python also. So if you want to uh, create a Python project using this installation, it will work also. Okay. So let's get started. Now, first of all, I want to show you that I will be uh, following the procedure of installing OpenCV on Ubuntu from my blog post from my website, which is codebind.com. So if you want to copy uh, all the command or if you want to know all the command which I have used in this video, you can just uh, go to this link, which I'm going to give you in the description and then copy all these commands from here and here are the, all the detailed uh, instruction how to install OpenCV and how you can create your first C++ uh, project with OpenCV. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to open my terminal and the first step is to update my Ubuntu operating system. So just give this command here, sudo app minus get update okay so sudo app minus get update and then give your ubuntu's password and it's going to uh, get all the updates and once this is done we are going to give this command second command is sudo app get upgrade so just give uh, this command sudo app get upgrade and then give y here so the upgrade is finished and then i'm going to go to the next step you can see this is the next step to install all the dependencies which are for example build essential for c plus plus and c c make for making your uh, open cb repositories git for cloning and other dependencies for open cb okay so i'm going to just copy this one by one and paste it here so let me clear the terminal and then paste this command and uh, i'm going to uh, just go to the start position delete this dollar symbol and then press enter which is going to install these dependencies first of all and by the time uh, these dependencies are installing i'm going to copy the second command which is this one which is for the support of uh, python and the other libraries okay so just copy the second command so now the first command is finished let me once again clear the terminal and then let's give the second command which is sudo app get install uh, python 3.5 minus dev python 3 minus numpy and these other libraries okay so i'm going to give this command and press y and once this is done, we are going to execute the third command for the dependencies, which is this one. So let me copy this command and then I'm going to just uh, give this command after this installation is finished. So the second command is also finished. Let me clear the terminal and let me give the third command and let's give the third command now. So and press Y and let's wait for the command to execute and install all the dependencies so the dependency installation process is finished and let's go and see what's the next uh, step so in the next step we are going to get the open cv and these open cv uh, repositories are hosted on the github uh, by the username itcs and open cv okay so we are going to just uh, get these repositories in our opt uh, folder or directory and then we are going to make uh, these repositories right so let me clear the terminal once again and now give the sudo su command because we are going to go inside our opt folder which requires sudo privileges right and then we are going to go to the cd opt folder so let's go to the opt and in the opt we are going to clone this git repository right so just give this command to co clone the repository and we have already installed git in our previous command right 
so this git command will work so git clone which is going to clone this open cv uh, repository on our uh, opt directory so the cloning of uh, the first repository is done and let's clone the second repository and the second repository was this git clone https uh, open cv underscore contrib dot git right this is the second repository we are cloning so it will uh, be cloned in few seconds and then we will go to the next step which is to make our binaries so the cloning of the next repository is also done so we can go to the next step and let's see what the next step is so here is the next step so now once uh, both the repositories are cloned now we just need to build and install OpenCV and these are the steps for uh, building and uh, uh, you know installing the OpenCV so we just need to cd into the OpenCV directory and create a release uh, directory inside that and in the release directory we just need to run this command okay so let's uh, do that so let's first of all ls into our opt uh, directory and you can see we have two uh, directories created one is opencv which is created by cloning of the first repository and other is opencv contrib which is uh, created by the cloning of the second repository right so we will cd into the first repository which is opencv so just give the command cd open cv and now we are in the opt forward slash open cv directory right here we are going to create uh, a directory called release and once this directory is created we will just cd into that directory so just to cd release okay so now we are in opt forward slash open cv forward slash uh, release right now inside this uh, directory we just need to give uh, this command so we have given uh, the cd release command and now we just need to give uh, this cmake command which is a very long command so just copy this uh, command and we are going to give this command right which is the cmake so let's clear the terminal first of all and now let's give the cmake command okay so this is the command we just need to give cmake and then all the flags associated with the cmake okay and here you can see the last option is important here last uh, option here which is the directory opt forward slash open cv okay so this operation of cmake will happen in opt forward slash open cv right so just give this command it's going to build open cv using cmake now the cmake command is finished so let's see what the next step is so after the cmake command we just need to make uh, our uh, binaries and then give the make install command okay and then ld config so let's issue the make command and then we will do the make install so just write make minus j4 j4 is for uh, the jobs so make minus j4 okay and it's going to make your binaries and then we are going to issue the make install command so the make command is also finished so let's give the make install command now so let me clear the terminal and let me give make install command and once this make install command is finished then we will do the ld config and ld config is going to create the necessary links for the open cv okay so the make install is also finished so let's give ld config command here you can also verify these commands from here so after make we have given uh, make install and then ld config right and then we are going to exit from the sudo and then we will go to our home directory okay so let's do the same so ld config which is going to create all the necessary links and then we just need to exit from our sudo so we are out of uh, our sudo and now we just need to do cd 
till day if it's necessary in your case uh, i was already in my home directory so i do not necessarily need to give this command but uh, i just gave this command right now let's verify that uh, which version of opencv we have installed and for that we have uh, this command let me scroll down and we have this command pkg minus config minus minus uh, mod version open cv okay so let's give uh, this command here and let me remove this dollar and then press enter and you can see the version of open cv in our case is 3.3.0 okay now let's create some c++ project and let's uh, see how we can uh, compile us open cv c++ uh, project so I will uh, go down a little and I can see these instructions here, right? So you can create this directory in which uh, you will, uh, you know, create your uh, main.cpp file. So let me do this. So let me create a directory called cpp test or open cv test. So mkdir cpp underscore test and then let's go to that uh, directory cpp test and inside the cpp test i'm going to create a main.cpp file so main.cpp and i will need a picture or a, a image for this program right so let me open this main.cpp and let me open the folder explorer and let me show you this main.cpp there right so you can see in here i have cpp test directory and inside cpp test i have created this main.cpp using the touch command right so i'm going to open this uh, main.cpp using my gedit uh, editor you can use any other editor as you wish so right now this is empty file right this main.cpp is empty and in this uh, empty main.cpp, I'm going to just copy this uh, program, which I have provided on this uh, website. And then I'm going to compile this. So let me copy all this code, which I have uh, given here. And let me just paste it here. Okay. And you can see here, I need a sample JPEG file also to uh, open it. Right. So in this here in this directory I, I need a sample.jpeg image so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a screenshot of uh, my desktop so let me take a screenshot and let me save this screenshot with this name which is same sample.jpeg uh, here or in my case it's a png so i will just say sample.png file okay and I will save it in my pictures directory and I just need to copy that from my pictures directory. So sample.png. Let me copy this from here and let me go to the home CPP test and then let me paste in the same directory tree in which my main.cpp file is. So in this directory, I have main.cpp and sample.png and because it's a sample.png, I will just change the extension here png right because i have uh, png not jpeg and now i'm going to just compile my uh, program and then i'm going to run it so to compile my program you can see uh, this command which is going to compile your program and create a output uh, binary file or executable file so g plus plus main.cpp minus o output so this is our executable file and you just need to give this uh, command there okay let's uh, build so our main.cpp is compiled and you can see there is one more uh, executable file which is created which is output right so let's run the output and once you run it you can see it has opened uh, this image in our case okay so this is our display window and it has opened this display window here let's run it once again to verify and you can see this is the display window which is opened by our open cv uh, program okay so now we know that our open cv is working fine with our cpp project 
So this is how you can uh, download and install OpenCV on your Ubuntu operating system and you can create your first C++ project. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.